So, how many of you guys um, order Ipsy bags and have a whole pile of them and you have no idea what to do with them all? Well, April 2016 um, sent a bag like this. And it is really, really cute. It's an Ipsy bag, of course. And there's a nice little clip on the front with all the makeup that came inside. But it is really, really, really cute, right? Well, I have a bunch of these bags kind of building up in my closet. I throw them all in my closet. Um, and I have no idea what to do with them all because I have one a main makeup bag that I bring with me everywhere. And then I have a bigger one. Um, that I bring when I go overnight someplace to carry more of my stuff that I might need for the next day or that I will need for the next day. So I was like kind of looking at this bag and I said, well, this is really, really cute. So I thought that I would make something um, to show how cute this bag is. So what you're going to need is an Ipsy bag. I chose the one from... Um, like I said, April from 2016, um, the month of that one, and um, this is what it looks like. Some of you girls got blue, some of you girls got purple. I got the pink one, which I really like pink. So that, you're going to need some um, dollar store string. I use a lot of this, so it usually comes full, but it's like a, kind of like a nylon kind of string. But this is the string that you're going to use. Now, I already went ahead and cut mine. It's about two and a half to three feet long. And then I did three of the same length and I knotted it. So it is pretty long, as you guys can see. It's really long. Woo! Okay. Then I also did another one where I doubled up the, the same length. And with this one, I'm going to bring it the same at this end here. I'm going to hold it and run my fingers along the sides until I get to the other side, which is the loop. Then I'm going to bring both sides together so that they're lining up again. I'm going to hold it and do the same. Bring the two loops, bring it up to the same length so it's all the same length. And then again, I am going to, with this one, actually not with this one, sorry. So this is what it's supposed to look like, so you must have doubled it up a few times. I'm going to take a ring, a key ring, that you can get at the dollar store. It looks like this. This one's from an old keychain that I had that broke, so it isn't this, like, it isn't lining up the perfectly, but you can use, you can use a keychain or a whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one side of this, like so, and I'm going to run it through until I get to the middle. So it should look like that. And I'm done. So it's all the length, and this is sitting in the middle, like so. Alrighty. Now, you're going to have to take one of the pieces that are cut. So look for a piece. There's one here. And you're going to loop it around and around a few times, like so. I, I just like to keep it really tight, like that. Oh, sorry, I did that wrong. Okay, let me try that again. Okay, before I start looping, I'm supposed to take my finger, sort of my finger here. You go, actually, I'll start from scratch, so it's nothing there. Like, it's hanging low. You go around. So when it comes to this side, you put your finger there. Alrighty. Now go around your finger. So it's like that, around your finger, so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. It has these plus my finger there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take this piece and tuck it in behind while you kind of bring your finger out a bit to give it some space. 
so that's what you do. So now you got those loops, you take your loose string, push it through downwards, meaning downwards to go with that, so downwards. All right. And you're going to pull. Bring it up to the top and pull. So now that it's like that, alright, now you're going to take the other loose end in here and you're going to tie it on to the other one that you just pulled through the hoop and make a knot. So you go one and two. Like so. So it makes like this. Looks cute, right? So now on the bottoms with all the loops, you're going to cut them. So you're going to go through each of the hoops and cut them like that. I think I got them all. Oh, I missed one. So now you have a dangly kind of. All right, so that's what it's supposed to look like. It looks pretty cool. I really like that. It's it's kind of neat. Um, yeah. So then you put this to the side. Now take this long ass piece of string, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna braid it all the way to the other end and then knot it off so I'm going to do that now all right so now that I have um, braided the string so it is all completely braided and like pretty on one side um, uh, when I was braiding it I added this cute little butterfly keychain ring I don't know it's, I think it's from like jewelry making actually it's from my jewelry making stuff um, I just added it into the braid, as you can see. I just kind of looped it in. So it hangs like that. And then on the other side, I looped in this, um, the dangly, I forget what the hell I call it, but then it was this fray thing. So I, I put that on with it too. And I also added a cute little charm. Very cute. So these are the two ends. Uh oh, pretty. Um, you're probably wondering why I didn't probably just tie it off at the end. Cause um, I could have put the ring in at the bottom. But the reason why is because you need that little tiny piece of um, piece with the braided in, because you want to stitch it into the sides of this. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a needle and thread. Open up your bag. You're going to go on one side. So when it closes here, you're going to go in here. You're going to take one of the ends. And you're going to take that little tiny piece that you braided off and knotted. And stitch it on the inside. Just a little bit. On the inside of there. And then when it comes out... It's gonna sit. It's gonna sit pretty, like so. You understand? And you're gonna do the same thing on this side with the other end. So I'll show you that as soon as I'm done stitching. All right. So now I finished stitching the ends. So both ends are on. I know one side looks better than the other. I just turned it inside out to kind of help. Now I'm going to put it back like so. I'm going to close it so you guys can see. And it's done. So this is what you can do with one of your Ipsy bags. So cute. Thanks for watching.